Hi guys and welcome to my very first episode, my very first video of my very first series. So my name is Jack, I'm from the UK, big Total War fan, big strategy game fan, and spend a lot of my time watching a lot of YouTubers playing Total Wars, Rome, Attila and Empire and everything else. And said to myself, you know what, I play a lot of it, I've got over 2000 hours from playing from original medieval Total War back in the day and said so I'm going to go on a bit of a um, bit of a mission which I'll talk you through when we uh, get into the game I'm not just going to be playing Rise of the Republic I'm going to be playing through all the different add-ons and the campaigns and the games from the earliest setting ignoring Troy so far playing as the Romans so from the birth of the Republic all the way up to the formation of a modern empire by playing either Empire Total War, Darth Mod, or maybe Napoleon. But we'll get to that. So, for now, let's get into the first episode, Rise of the Republic, the beginning of the Roman Empire. The start of our story, and the first episode of Season 1. So, to begin with, we're going to be on Rise of the Republic. I am playing on a few Radius mods, linked down in the description. We're going to be starting, like I said, at the beginning. So, as Rome in 399 BC, their initial transit is hard. I'm going to be playing on the hard difficulty. So, it's a difficult game as it is this one. And you start getting spammed by full stacks pretty quick. But, we'll try and uh, land grab and then tilt down and make a push but for now I will leave you with the intro Rome is at war the Etruscans of Veii have been our enemies for many years and since peace is out of the question we must bring them down by force of arms the proud Volsci of Latium are carefully observing the conflict and will undoubtedly strike should we provoke their ire in such a conflict, we might try to ally with the Hernesi. Meanwhile, rumour has it that a new threat is stirring beyond the lands of the cowardly Sabines and docile Umbri. Be mindful, yet brave. May Mars watch over you. Yeah, oh, excellent, thanks. Well, cheers, Mars. The Annals of Rome, chapter 1. It has been ten years since military hostilities began between us and the Etruscan city of Veii. Blah, 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 blah. Hold two provinces in their entirety. Okay. So. Rome long ago. Instead of changing government types, Rome can... Yeah, so we can have consuls or dictator. So basically, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the DLC, just quickly, you can have your government types instead of kingdoms and empires and things like that you can elect consuls or appoint a dictator giving you benefits for two at random well at certain levels or appoint your dictator yourself and get certain levels with them too but just whilst we start good a bit of positive happy with that the loyalty issue in this game is the one thing that really frustrates me you want it on hard so you can have a lot of fun against full stacks, big armies, lots of big battles, but you know, the politics can get tedious, so let's say. How can I? I but, you. we are Rome, and our first mission, because I believe diplomacy was, yeah, we're only at war with the Vei. Not particularly liked by many, but we're at war with them, so we'll focus on them. The Hercini. So we're already trading. So welcome, we're all good. Welcome, welcome, my friend. I will give ear to you and give tongue to the people. Well, not yet. Let's see how that goes. But the touch unit, right? We need to be. You approach as a friend. Yes. Treat our friends with care, but I Ooh. respect this overture. Do not worry. When and if we. What about just trade? Gold, okay, so trade's the killer. From you. Mm, non aggression for now. Good. Let's let we that have build. our agreement. Let us move on to yes. the important matter of the celebratory feast. What if? As you have made the effort to meet trade me, I will make the effort to consider what you offer. 
No. Okay, not yet. You're you not are ready. under That's the mistaken totally impression yeah, yeah, yeah. that we must... You can shut up now. So, we're at war with the Vei. Friendly-ish either side. These guys are going to try and push to take advantage. And this is up for debate. The Vei are pretty weak at the beginning. So, I'm going to hope they don't start with um, an army, do they? No. So, yeah, do you know what? You can earn some XP. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so you're not recruiting yet. Well, it's my go, isn't it? Yeah, you haven't had a go yet, so you wouldn't be. I'm going to hope that. What have I got? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hope that. I reckon this guy's going to push for an attack. We are on hard difficulty, so they can be aggressive. He's got seven. I'm going to... I'm going to stay where I am. I'm going to leave Ostia open to him. And see if we can lure him into a, an attack. And from there, let's just see if we can quickly grab... the Vei territory. Before we get a bit... Swamped, and then do we want ideally really we want to be able to have a good oh no we definitely want that <laughs> yeah that loyalty issue we definitely want that and we obey. we'll take some mercs for now and Hundred percent Latin. We don't need any of that. Depending on what the military presence is for, characters is three, so it's a bit. Do you know what? Let's just build it up. Food, yeah, food's an issue too, so why not? And let's just start getting a bit more advanced. Yep, yeah, I'm going to say that that's it. Is so. Marcus is our main man. Lucius and Spurious. Okay. And we've got a couple of kids. They're all happy. For now. 550. One. Who's the family leader? And a is consort. So, family leader. Let's get you married. 26 and 42, you dirty, dirty boy. Um, that'll do for now. Let's see if we can get some kids out of you. Right. We will end the turn. See what the VI do. Whilst this goes on, just give you a quick brief. Uh, like I said in the introduction, my name is Jack. Hi to everyone that's watching. And on a bit of a mission. So, played a lot. A total war, um, had a lot of fun, and you know what? Made a lot of mistakes along the way as well. He's done it! Oh, he's done it! What a knob! Okay. What's our order resolve? So it's just a garrison army. It's not exactly a impressive first fight. So let's order resolve this for now. I should have been aggressive actually. Not that it makes much difference. Let's take some slaves too and boost the economy. Uh, yeah, so. What's the full skill to? Um, yeah, made a lot of mistakes on some sort of wars, you know. And there's an awful lot. I do know there's an awful lot that I probably don't. You prick. Oh my life. Slaves are minus nine. I mean, there's only a hundred of them. Are you mad? Oh yeah, and here's this dick king. Right. So anyway, edits and Rome, yep. Yeah. 
Oplites, yeah, okay, so. Plan worked brilliantly, apart from this knob, the Great Warriors. King with his funny hat. Nice, you look like a fool. But Ostia is now pretty weak, so... Who doesn't like us? Amelia, so... Pubilus Amelius Catalus. I'm a fan, sir. I am a fan. Awaiting orders. Some order in this Show me your war face. Please. You're actually talking underneath that. That's hilarious. I'm blinking. Yo. So. For now, let's get some mercenaries in. Blunder and glory await you. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, do that for now. 12. Surveyor so got 7. The men will give their all. But I could. How can I serve, bro? That's going to be a siege. Ha ha ha. Right. Let's wipe you out. Take Cicero. Hold that. And then oh, money's a bit of an issue here, isn't it? So let's slam the cash. The cowards come out of their misery. Well, we'll go balanced. Should hopefully wipe them completely out. Nice and bloody. Lovely stuff. Uh, 68 captured. Slaughter them. Got an upgrade. Definitely campaign map movement speed for now. With... I'm not too fussed about his levels of building up, so we'll go with Yeah, we'll definitely go with the warrior skills. We are ready to do battle. Salve. And is a force to be reckoned with. What's this record? Nine. Okay. Plus four. Oof. Okay, this could be a scrap. This could be a scrap. Oh, oh no. You gonna get spanked, boy. Right, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna fight this one. Marcus is leading into his first major battle, not a small skirmish. Yeah, we got just shy of 2,000 against 1,500. We'll fight this one. So, my mission is to put, I've planned out roughly 10 seasons it's going to be, and each season will be a particular DLC campaign map or a grand campaign of a of a particular total war. So starting with Rise of the Republic, I'll then move into Hannibal at the Gates, then it'll be Wrath of Sparta but with the Divide et Impera or Divide et Impera expand, uh, mod, which changes the year to 200 BC which is the true time frame of when the Romans captured Greece. That I'm actually looking forward to doing because I love the DEI expan uh, mod expansion. It's just glorious. Oh, do you know what? Let's fight in the rain. Why not? It's different. Ready and waiting. Why not? So... Oh, I do like this map. They never, they never ever ever check the trees. The AI. We await your command. Which I enjoy. So it's always we a good spot. Actually, 
actually, do you know what? What I could do is if I put the mercs here. By your command! Ready for orders! Source. We can let the mercenaries get slaughtered. LA troops awaiting orders. With some stupid tribesmen. Slingers! Yours to command! Equities! Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, so we'll work our way through that. Um, after Wrath of Sparta, are we happy here? We'll move on to the Julius Caesar campaign, Caesar and Gaul. Then we'll go to um, Empire Divided. Not sure who we're going to play as in Empire Divided yet. This is the moment you have waited for. And then the very reason you are here. Now, I'm sorry, I've cutting you off your speech. Swine, what happens to those who oppose Rome? Sorry, Marcus. I apologize. And I think that's it then. Is that it for Rome after Empire Divided? 270 AD? Remember now. I think so. And then anyway, then we'll go on to Attila. And then there's the last Roman and the Attila Grand Campaign. Then there's the twelve twelve mod. Looking forward to that. That's gonna be a hard long slog. Then we'll look at Empire and perhaps Napoleon. All of them modded thinking of doing Hannibal as either Parabellum, maybe, after this. So, we're doing Radius Slingers. on Rise of the Republic. Their boat's landing. I don't know. Romans ready for duty. At speed. So, I'm not normally a fan of these, um, these tiles, but with Radius you don't get the you don't get many changes, so I'll deal with it. And with Rise of the Public, sub mods aren't always stable. But for now, here we go. Right, are they landing or are they not or are they what? I don't care anymore. Right, don't fire at will. We're going to no like that. There we go. Spears ready, ready for orders. Equities ready. Slingers. No. Take out the cavalry as best you can. Right, you're going to orders. Spearmen at the ready. Ooh. We await your command. Light hoplites. Slingers by your command. Not quite going swimmingly just yet, so. Wow, he's. He's trying to pin them down a bit. Pin them down and flank them is my key. It's an interesting fight over here with the tribesmen. Oh, not what I meant to do. Right, Marcus, we're going to have you take out. Slingers at the top. Our general is under attack. I'm sure he is. How is he taking five? Slingers! 
Is that literally friendly fire? Right. At your service. There we go. Right. So yeah, plenty of games ahead, guys. Plenty of games ahead. I will give a bit more commentary on the battles that we get into, but this isn't a huge fight for Marcus. Slingers! He had an easy slaughter out in the field that we didn't need to see. Fire! If you take down the city guard. I am interested in what's happening over here. They're taking a few hits. The spearmen. Oh, the hoplites are getting a little bit thin. It's a bloody good thing. There's got some friends on the way. Marcus, you can pull back, mate, because those hoplites are going to rinse you. And they've gone, they've gone. Break the wall. Get in. Where is he? Right. Let's draw them in. Oh, they're about to break completely, so we don't need. Right. Take down the cavalry. You two, take down your swordsmen. Oh, you fool. Run, you fools! Do, do, do. Hold him in, charge in. Get behind him, you guys. You guys. Missile infantry ready. Actually, you know what? We'll stick with that. Cavalry round the back. Nice. Bam, bam, bam. So, our plan here. Flatline just holding off. Here comes Marcus. You guys can stop. yourself they're all dead all right you guys can move through Jupiter gives us strength. Oh. Ready. Swords. Come on, yeah. is. get in there Marcus right, you know Biggest problem on this game can be friendly fire. It drives me insane. Commander. Right. Missile infantry ready. Slingers. Your orders. Oh. Ready and waiting. Yours to command. How are those shots landing? I mean, not bad. Relatively accurate. Yeah, they're working. 
I would say... Oh, why not? We'll bring him in. Oh, and they've gone over here. They've broken on the right. So have my boys. Let's um, try and calm you down a bit. Right. You lot can all stop. And they're charging in. Come on, boys. What have you got there? Do we have any slaughtering? Oh, one's down. <laughs> oh. Blooded. I think what is boring is uh, Hoplites versus Hoplites. Oh, look. Mr. Beard. Now oh, they're bricking it though. Yep. And they've gone. Right. Awesome. All they should have left now is someone on the capture point. So, infantry, infantry, infantry. Don't care how crap you are. Multi-click. There we go. Spear infantry at your command. Yep. Commander. Quick march. Break on off. axes. Move, 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 move. Right. Let's triple speed this. Are you kidding me? Right, you know what? Axe is fine. Slam into. Oh! Alright then. <laughs> completely thought completely thought that they had um, somebody on their catch point but they didn't so uh, yeah oh Marcus did well 190 oh the Latin tries when actually got some kills bless them Lost a group of mercs by the looks of things, but still... Victorious, nonetheless. And so it begins. Forging an empire may take centuries, maybe even millennium. But we're gonna get there. Ah, oh, Socrates just passed away actually at the beginning of this campaign, 399 BC. Sorry to see you go, Socrates. Oh, straight into the chest. And there he goes. Now then, let's. Let's raise it because I don't want their buildings. Oh, he's gone up again. Nice. One of the things I do like about this mod is that when you um, when you level up, you get two points rather than one. So you get some. I, I, do, I like that because you get some way more powerful characters. So for now, my favourite is always, always, always burning balls. Great balls of fire. Yeah, I just love it. All the traps. I just love a good defensive battle. Love them. Um, not too fussed about the missile damage increase. 
I mean up to 9% it's not a great deal not in comparison to the barbarian subjugators and yes this is right wooding campaign movements he's not going to be an admiral so I'll go with a soldier class right well we've captured our first territory what's next are the Volsky going to attack us is this guy Lauchum is he uh, what's a Lauchum don't know what that means an admiral no surely not oh Mm, yeah, because these guys. No idea. Whatever. Cicero is ours. That's all that matters right now. Let's. Can I build? Eighteen um, thirty. Oh, they're crap, aren't they? 53 defense. Yeah, they're really crap. 60 armor. Yeah, they're really crap. How much are the Roman hoplites? Oh, they're light hoplites, that's why. Oh, they are. 485 versus the 291. Okay, so for the money, they're worth it, but still not the best um, I'm going to say that we build a third army here are there any there are no mercs that he can have but who should we get metal face over here Publis is in we could have Gaius Licinius Calvus Yeah, you, 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 okay. Uh, do you know what? Why not? Gaius Licinius Calvus. Where are you? We will raise an army. Huh. Um, do you know what? You're going to be back up and slightly defensive, so we'll put you as the veteran centurio. Why not? You'll be cheap as well. And I didn't think so. Didn't think so. But on the next turn, you can, and then you'll be free to move. So you can, depending on what happens here. My point of this is, if this guy attacks, he'll probably push. But if he besieges. I can take some mercenaries into 3rd legion and attack. If he doesn't, or whatever happens here, if we win or something, if this is irrelevant, I can push to Vei and he can take the mercenaries and support, giving Marcus instant buff. Wow. Don't think I need those for 600 and something pounds. But... For now, do you know what? Let's build. Why not? Why not? But for now, uh, how is everybody? I know I'm protected. Okay. Minus ten or two for every level of ah. It's the tax, 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 tax. Yo. Oh, okay, so 1458 or so. Oh, that's not worth it. Yeah, we'll keep it there. Keep everybody happy. Now you should be six and eight. Over the moon. Your thirst for power, most of the party's influence is lower than the ruling. Me. You're a big at minus one loyalty for each province where the place culture is not dominant. Okay, it's capped as well. Oh, 
God, he's going to be a knob, isn't he? Because whenever I'm... How can you be... Well, what a contradiction that is. So plus one loyalty for every case where the player has more than 100 positive relations with another faction, minus one loyalty for having less than 100 relations with another faction. But... Minus two loyalty for each faction with which you have established dif diplomatic treaties. So he hates everybody, but is a diplomat. Typical. <laughs> right. Let's... One of the... I think I've also got a camera mod, by the way, so... This isn't the standard that you can zoom quite so far out, but... Nor in. But anyway, let's... I've got a technology on the way, haven't I? Yeah. Let's end the turn there. See what comes around. Notice I'm trying not to build anything just yet because, other than Rome, this early on you just never know. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, I should have built something. <laughs> oh no. I mean, God, I hate slums. Oh, is that free? No, I didn't think so, but why doesn't it tell me it was free? Oh, it does. It, it didn't just. Right. Food. Fine. You, mister. Right. So you see, yeah, you've sat still. But you've given him a chance now to... build something up. So let's take a look at Vei. Ah. There is more I could do. This is perfect. So, okay, three points we need to cover. This guy, he's not going to go for Rome, let's be honest. He's got, what, seven? Be a joke. So he's going to go for Ostia, if I give him the opportunity. But he's got seven. Borderline, but pretty much in their territory. So I guess he could, he could get mercenaries from them, I suppose. I've got seven plus. They're pretty much up to nearly, very nearly full strength, but apart from the ships are. My money's on leaving that alone. I can defend against seven. So. Could merge those. Marcus can march on Vei, but. You've parked your bum outside. So I could fight you, draw out the garrison, fight the garrison, win the fight on the outside, to and take the city for free. Sorry if you just saw that, but Windows just kicked me out and opened Word for some reason. Strange. So, do do do. And if I do that, smash. Right. Markers can't reach him. But Gaius Licinius can. Yes, he can. So he can attack. Marcus can reinforce. But that'll leave this guy wide open to take Cicero, which is just pretty much got nothing in it. So I'd need to have some. What have I got in here for Mercs? Literally that. Um. Man. Right, you know what? Scrap those for now. I need the money for mercenaries. I'm going to need a fleet. Because I can't have enough men here in case of something. He can only get naval mercenaries. So if I get them first, I'm pretty sure he has the same pool. 
So, first things first, we've done that. Uh, yeah, okay, do you know what, let's try and... Yeah, Jupiter's decent. We're going to try and keep everybody happy. I think if we can grab these four and just kind of like hunker down a little, see what happens, make some good relations and pick pick a direction of attack, we'll go for that. So let's just try and keep people happy. We'll go for the um, these two. Try and keep everyone together. Um, now, who shall we choose to be our admiral? Could have one of my own. Could have one of theirs. Kind of like, I find the animals a bit poo, really. So, he's only 22. 42, what, it, what depends, what have you got here? Culture, yes. Um... That's not a bad idea. Let's take the young guy. Why not? Um, oh, what's his name? Appius Armelius Catullus. Whoops, wrong thing. Raise a uh, Appius Amelius Catullus. Oh, yeah, you look like an emerald. Why the hell not? Yeah, that's expensive. Shit. Ships at your command. Right. Knew it. One, two. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's. Roman Navy, provisioned and fully crewed. So at least you're in there. He ain't going to get anything there. So that's the end of that. So now, Marcus can reinforce. Oh, but I can't. No, I need 90. <laughs> I need 18 quid. Oh, what a shame. I can cancel that. Or. Oh. Okay. Is yours. It's not that big a deal. It's just one group. Unless he can steal. No. We serve uh, right. You fight for Rome. Attack! Right, we'll do a quick save. And we will fight this battle. Because what I want to do is completely wipe out the garrison and then I can capture Vei and then when that's done we have ourselves a little beginning of an empire Okay, so it's nice and dry this time. Oh, and they're going to be on a hill. Okay, well, let's. We've got a hill too! Hmm. Up and over the hill, boys. See where they're coming Proud in. Romans all. Think this is everybody. 
Oh good, actually, I've got some archers, so we can pepper the hell out of them. Ah, they've come from the left. Ooh. You are going to go for that hill, aren't you? You little sod. Well, I've got slingers, got archers. You've got... I can see two slingers. And that's all. Here's... Where is he? Here he is. The man. Oh, you can see. What did you just say? We're at war, you fool! Okay, weirdo. Well, Marcus, your destiny awaits. Oh yeah, we've got crap spears. Crap spears at the front. So, uh, Roman spears behind. He's got a couple of tears in his there, and then we'll have do 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 do. At your service. Double time. My couple of tears. Advance at speed. Spears. Advance at speed. Right, is that everyone on the move? Oh, I believe so. Spears! Apart from Gaius Calvus. Double time! Right. Actually, where are my trusses? So, do you know what? We're gonna go this way, guys. Normally, we've got shields on the left, so we'll go for. We'll change over. We'll have the, those on the right. Equities to. Equities can counter in whichever way it needs to be. Right, speed up. Because they're on a hill, but if I keep it flat... Technically good to hit the high ground on you know, level ground. But if I can engage and pin them, I can then hit the missiles from the left-hand side. Your orders. So, Etruscan's on the top of the hill. Ready for duty! Advance! Good. At the Fire command! At the double! Ready! Advance at speed! Swords! At the double! Advance at speed! Commander! As you command! Riders! At the Slingers! Double. At the double! Right. Yeah, you're all fresh. Yeah, you've had to do a bit of jogging. Get over it. Right. Let's have no cock-ups here, lads. Because... Yours to command! This... At speed! This high ground stuff, it can absolutely demolish you. Orders. Spear infantry at your command. Double time. 
Ready for order. Our general is under attack. Spear infantry at your command. Counter that. Oof. Equities. Slingers. Understood. Your orders, commander. Your orders. Treskin command. Give them fire. Interest spears. We await your command. Yours to command. Ready for orders. Spear infantry ready. Ready waiting. Commander. Melee infantry. By your command. Spear infantry at your command. Italians. Oh, no, ready. not what I meant to do. Ready. Charge, get in there. This is going to be a sweaty one. God. See if we can rinse these hoplites before they get anywhere near us. I didn't think it would go quite this well. We're doing all right though. Jupiter gives us strength. Yes, Keep them happy, guys. Come on. Gaius, if you wish. Oh. Sort of a Calvin Harris. Old name, you know, Calvus Gaius. Gaius. Oh shit! Didn't see you were trapped. No, 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 no. Right. Bam, bam, bam. These guys are staying steady. Right, slam a load of fire into the back. Come on. We don't want that to be remaining garrison and having to fight it. Garrison fight for no reason. Oh, and there comes all of the uh, missile troops into the back. Ooh, heavy blow. Okay, and you guys can charge it in. Don't fire it well. We're not going to waste it. any more troops. There's only nine, ten of them left. Quickly now, riders at the double. He's bricked. They've bricked. Right, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
We are going. Advance at speed. At the Not you. You can sort off. Here we go, let's get some slow mo on the go. Marcus is nice and blooded. One forty two. Come on, assume the correct Double position. At the Double. Quick march. Get into position, get into position. Does this look like victory to you, Marcus? <laughs> oh, rinsed. <laughs> oh, and that's working a treat. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Well done. Fine work there, men. Keep them happy, Marcus. Come on. Fine work. Yeah, yeah. Fine work. Yep, yep, yep. I'll... The enemy general is dead. Okay. Cease fire, boys. I think you did enough there. Jupiter gives us strength. I tried then. Not quite sure what happened. Zoomed in on their unit. Oh, this is a bloody... What have you got, boy? Oh, nothing. Must have run you down. Well, that was a slaughter. Yeah, I'd say that was decisive. Yeah. Got a hundred left, eh? Ooh, in the foot, in the back. Excellent. And what now, sir? We are ready for more. Come on. Let's level you up, sir. Do you know what? You could be. I'll have you as a commander, and we'll have you as a, yeah, strategist. Why not? The Roman army My is a force to be reckoned with. Their gods will not save them. Oh, I can't quite. Ready? Can't quite take it just yet. The ships are ready. Just give us a course. We've also got this boy to. Oh no, I can't. Can I? So we need to do one more turn. Interesting what the Volsky will do down south. But with the Battle of the Hill won, they I should be mine. It depends now, really. I should have. The general that just. Ugh. <laughs> the general that just won should have, um, should have had him as Equites. Because, uh, oh my god almighty. What do you mean a food shortage? Yo, this boy, you're doing my nut, man. Okay, we're gonna come in. See if we can slaughter you with our... A hello? What the hell are the Tartuna doing here? Oh, come on now. Really? 
So we if you would have been... Oh god, if I'd have made you into Equites, we could have taken that city. But still. So, so the, the Tartuna, are they... Nothing with anybody. You approach as a friend. We choose our friends with care. But I right. respect this overture. Oh, we've got a non-aggression. Okay. Well, that's good. I will do anything for Rome. Calls. I mean... Yeah. Right, let's Attack! take you out. And again, the garrison army will come out. We'll auto-resolve this because we've just done it. We'll go protective. And that'll just be the end of it, I think. Oh really? That is impossible. The Roman army is a force to be defenses are coming down. Oh really? <laughs> oh dear. Oh shit. Oh my god. I clicked on assault. What am I doing? What am I doing? Completely meant to click on auto resolve because I thought we got it in the back. I mean, well, Marcus, I'll give it to you. You wanna, you wanna go? <sighs> well, guys, you get an extra battle out of it, I suppose. Let's go. Drop that crap. At your service. We'll have some axemen on the top. Italian no. swordsmen, by your command. Do we have anyone else of anything, any, any decent skill whatsoever? I mean, not really. So. At your service. We shall see. So your you two sword. are the ladders. Then we've got crap ready. infantry. Do you know what? Why not? Just... Italian swordsman. Why not? If that's what you want it to be. Swords, your orders. Light up, legends. Jupiter gives us strength. Yours to command. Equities. Let's go. Swords. At your service. Look at them. Storm these walls. Oh yes. There will be nowhere to hide. Nowhere. Get in there, son. No sense. At the devil, your orders. Come and gaze. Come on, chaps. A charge. Spam the hell out of it. Slingers. Oh, he'll be on the. Oh, he'll be over there. Oh, fast forward through this.
right. Get up there, let's get this fight over with. I mean, come on man, there's 34 men. I'm really glad I clicked on attack. <laughs> However, we will be making a bit more of a story. A bit more of a... Yeah, a bit more of a series of everything. We just got to quickly get established now. We'll take over Italy, then from there we'll take over into Hannibal at the Gates. We'll take Spain. We'll look at Africa and Carthage. I promise that we'll try and make it dramatic as well. I won't be doing the um, cheesy tricks of fighting the, the battles outside. I'm only doing that just to begin on this, but for the majority of the games and majority of the series I will be having large-scale sieges and dramatic battles and I'm sure generals will fall so stick with me as we begin our campaign begin our season one in episode two I will lay out the goals of this series which I'll, do, I'll go into more detail with it but for as a quick rule of thumb we'll be trying to match as closely as we can to the starting map of Hannibal at the gates which will be a client state of the Samnites, client state of the Etruscan League, own northern Sicily and um, some bits in the in the north I think it was the Veneti So we'll try and end this series where Hannibal will pick up. That will be our mission. Oh, that was a headshot. Uh, yeah, right. We'll soon have the enemy on the run. Excellent. Imperium is up. The men will give their all. Right, Tochina, what are you doing? Come on. Do you know what? Get out there, Lysinius. Auto resolve. Finish him off. Good. Ah, oh, excellent news. Again, yes. Yes. Do recruitment costs, and we'll do the. I want you to your map movements. Again with some military training. The rows are at their benches. Sound the prepare for ramming. Well, that's just a bit of a Right, be aggressive, take him out. And I think that's the end whew, of the VI. Excellent. And I level up. We'll disband you. Oh no, that's what we need to do. We want you. I am with you. Can you not murder? I don't know. So, for now, we're going to call that the end of the episode. 
thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're interested in episode two when we start talking about what our plans will be we are going to start looking at where we're going to capture down south we are going to wipe out pretty much everybody try and make a client state of the samnites we'll try and make a client state up north of the etruscan league somewhere capture everything else we'll take corsica and sardinia come down and we'll take northern and western Sicily we will go to the north but we won't expand too far into territory. we're not going for full map control we're going for a um, as close to the Hannibal starting map as we possibly can so then once we've completed we can leave it up to the emperors to rule move forward a few hundred years and um, take on Hannibal on a slightly larger map I may depending on comments if you guys want to Perhaps we'll sack Carthage. Might be fun if we've taken Corsica, Sardinia, and Sicily. Is it worth sailing over, sack, and pillage Carthage, and come back? Not capture it, but just take all the, the riches and the spoils, you know? An earlier version of the first Punic, Punic War. But I'll leave that up to you guys, see what you want to do. But for now, thanks for watching. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Check the description for our master plan of where we've been and where we're going, and for any social links, so if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram or anything else. Share the video links with your friends, like, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment, suggestions, tactics, tricks, names for legions, and whatever else you want to talk about. And stay safe, stay awesome, stay brilliant. See you on the next one.